Hey Vogue Vloggers, I'm Kay Robinson of Kay Robinson Photography and Reading Transforms and today we're going to talk about how to style your books for Christmas. They say that Christmas is the most wonderful time of the year and I wholeheartedly agree, especially because it opens up so many doors for our book styling. Now the most important thing you can remember when stylizing your books around Christmas time or any holiday is to make sure that you take two sets of photos, your normal photos and your holiday photos because you don't want to use a Christmas themed photo in the middle of March. That just wouldn't make sense. So if you do both sets of images at the same time, you're going to save yourself a lot of time later on when you have to recreate those photos if you didn't do it in the first place. I love decorating for Christmas and there are two wonderful ways that you can decorate your images based on Christmas. The first is by using Christmas as your inspiration. If you are going strictly with Christmas as your theme in your images, you're going to want to use colors like red and green and gold and silver and sometimes you can fit blue in there for winter. You're not going to use extra colors, you're going to stick to those main Christmas themes. If you are choosing to do your book imagery based off of the cover of your book, but you still want to use those Christmas elements, you can draw in the colors from the cover into your Christmas elements that you're adding in. So if your book is purple toned, you can add in purple ornaments to really draw out that color on the book and make it stand out. If you are going Christmas themed, you can do all sorts of things. We have a great many options available to us. And you can take anything that you would use to decorate your house for Christmas and decorate your book imagery. You could use things like ornaments and jingle bells, you could use snowflakes, you could use Christmas trees. You could actually shoot down through your Christmas tree so that the branches are covering bits and pieces of the cover, but not, of course, the title or the author's name. But that would give it a really Christmassy look. You can use Christmas lights. You can use things like bows or Christmas cookies. You could use things like stockings or holly or poinsettias. You could photograph presents next to it inside of a present box. You could photograph down through presents. You could do all sorts of really great things with presents in your images. You can even take your book out into the snow to give it a really great winter feel. Now of course be careful when you are photographing out in the snow. Snow is a lot like rain and it can damage your tablets and your books so make sure you're taking caution when you are working with these. You don't want to damage your books or your iPads or your e-readers. You could even do things like put your book up against a window and shoot through the window so you can see the snow in the background but it doesn't actually damage your book or your e-reader. However you choose to decorate your images, make sure that you are careful that the book cover is the focus of your image. You don't want to take away from the title or the author's name, and you don't want to overwhelm the picture by adding in too many elements. Keep it simple and keep it classy. Make sure that you bring out the book cover the best that you can, because this is how your readers are choosing to read their books, based off of your reviews and your images. fantastic time for decorating your images and I hope you have just as much fun as I have had decorating all of these books for Christmas time. Make sure of course that you remember to take images without Christmas elements so that you have them for later use. Be sure to show me what you've come up with. I can't wait to see them. I'm K.M. Robinson of K.M. Robinson Photography and Reading Transforms. Stay inspired.